Hello everyone. Welcome to Partshala. Now in this video we will see what is mean by Google Colab. So Google Colab is browser based GPU notebook which is freely available for executing machine learning and deep learning models on cloud. So we can use CPUs, GPUs or even TPUs for executing our models. Many more facilities are available with Google Colab. So let's check out which are those. So first important facility, we don't have to worry about the hardware required for executing the models. We also don't have to worry about Python modules and uh, package installation because almost everything required for machine learning and deep learning programming is directly available in Google Colab. Second feature is we can use free GPUs for executing our model that is present under runtime. Under runtime we have change runtime type. Here you can use hardware accelerators. You can check none GPU or TPU. Okay, here I am selecting GPU. Just select GPU and click on save so whichever the model we are going to create over here that will execute gpu for the training purpose so free gpu is available now next important feature we can share this notebook so just click on share and uh, here you will get the shareable link so just use that shareable link to share this notebook with the other uh, people now you can change the name of this notebook for example uh, if I want to specify name as a demo then I can directly write down demo over there so uh, its extension is dot ipynb that is interactive python notebook so name of the file is demo.ipynb here we have different menus so first is file so inside file we can create uh, a new notebook we can open a notebook we can rename the notebook many more features are there this is simple one most important we can download this ipython notebook uh, over here we can also download this notebook as a python program so by clicking on this download.py option we will get the python file the, for this notebook in edit view uh, insert we can deal with uh, the cells available uh, under this notebook in runtime in runtime we can uh, interrupt the execution at any point of time if, if something went wrong we can execute all the cells after restarting automatically or you can directly use run all in with this particular feature we can execute all the sales one after another we can also manage the session we can close the session we can so here we can also check out what things we have done till now under log so log file is there we can check out what are the different activities that we have done uh, with this notebook okay so this particular notebook is made up of two types of cells first is code and second is text in code cell we can provide the code for uh, uh, the model generation and uh, the other python codes so for example let me import numpy import numpy as np okay so i am importing that numpy package as np over here to uh, execute this cell i have to press ctrl and enter at the same time and uh, that cell will be executed for you okay so in next cell suppose i don't know what is mean by numpy so what you have to do you have to specify numpy and provide a question mark after it and execute this cell again you will get you will get the document for 
the NP module. So here we can uh, get what uh, uh, NumPy module is and all the important features and methods available inside the NumPy module. Okay, so in NumPy module, if if we are not aware about which are the different methods available in NumPy, so you have to just put dot and you have to wait. Different methods are there, different properties are there, so you can use those methods and properties as per your requirement. So as we can see, ABS method is there, and its signature is also available uh, or or here so you can use abc method abc if if you don't know what is mean by abc put question mark and execute the cell abc object is not there so just wait abs object is there so abs put question mark and uh, execute that cell again and you will get documentation for abs okay so abs says that you will get positive number for the parameter past number okay so let me check that if i'm passing minus 10 over here and if i'm putting that in test let me execute this cell okay just add new cell provide test and hit control enter yes we have test and uh, its value is 10 okay so the current cell knows what we have done in the previous cell so we haven't specified test value 10 over here but test value 10 is assigned in one of the previous cell executed uh, before this cell okay so we are getting those values in the next cell okay so this is a small introduction of uh, google collab we are going to use this google collab in order to develop our deep neural network models so uh, you might have got what is meant by google collab and how to interact uh, with the google collab okay thank you for watching the video